Hey, this is Craig from No Rest for the Wicked, and I am going to show you what the Shape Builder tool is used for and what you can do with it. The Shape Builder tool allows you to merge shapes together as well as subtract shapes from one another. The Shape Builder tool is an extremely useful tool for using on any project. You can find it over here in the toolbar. It's kind of a circle with a triangle in it. The uh, keyboard shortcut for it is Shift M. But what it does, I'm going to go to my Eclipse tool here. Draw a nice big Eclipse. Now I'm going to go back to my selection tool. I'm going to hold down Alt and bring this across. Now what the Shape Builder tool can do, what you do, you go to your selection tool. I have two shapes here. I have two circles. One's overlapping another, another one. And what I'm going to do is select both of these. And what the Shape Builder tool does, it sees, the Shape Builder tool sees three different shapes here. I'm going to click on the Shape Builder tool. Now if I say I wanted to make a football, this looks kind of like a football, what I would do is hold down the Alt key, uh, it'll be Option on Mac, Alt on PC, hold down the Alt and click here, click over here, now I'm left with this shape. I'm going to press Command Z to back up. Another thing you can do, say I wanted to merge, I wanted to get rid of this center part here and I wanted to merge this into one shape. All I would do is hold down my left uh, mouse button and draw a line through here. Go back to my selection here. Now I have one shape. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to draw a box here. This won't be perfect, but I'm going to draw some lines through it. Gonna make a little tic-tac-toe box here. Now I will go to my selection tool. Now I have a box with a bunch of lines through it basically. I'm gonna select all of it. I'm gonna go to my shape builder tool. I'm gonna click on, see the shape builder tool sees all these as being separate shapes. And I could hold down Alt and click here to delete that. I'm going to press Control Z, bring that back. Or I could just make these all into separate uh, shapes by simply left clicking on each one. And now I have nine different boxes. I'm going to go back to my selection tool. See, these are all different shapes now. I can color all these differently if I would like. Go to my fill, color that orange. Go to this one, color this one blue. So yeah, the Shape Builder tool, you could either merge shapes, you could divide shapes, and you could subtract shapes using the, the Shape Builder tool. It's a very useful tool to have on any project. I use it pretty much regularly on the projects that I work on. It's a shape builder tool. Thanks for watching.